Tonight is concert in the park. I'm going to be making some smoked chicken salad to make toasted chicken salad sandwiches that we can enjoy under the stars. That's right, smoked chicken salad. And the beginning of that are smoked chicken breasts. But before we can get those out on the Charbroil electric smoker, I've got to get the seasoning together. Very simple, let me show you what it is. We're starting with a tablespoon and a half of granulated garlic. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon of smoked paprika. Then we have a teaspoon of ground black pepper. We're also going to add half a teaspoon of some sage. This is a dried sage. It's not powdered. It's going to help infuse some flavor into this chicken when we add our olive oil. Finally, I'm adding three tablespoons of 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's. Now, if you don't have a Trader Joe's near you or this specific seasoning, pick anything you like. You can add any sort of seasoning to this you want. I'm just going to give this a quick initial mix here. Just blending it together. Let's move on to the chicken and get this seasoning on it. What I have here are six good sized half chicken breasts. They're bone in with the skin on. Now the skin's not really going to play a part in the actual chicken salad. We'll be pulling the meat off of this for the chicken salad. But when you're smoking the skin, even if you're not going to use it, helps keep the chicken moist. First thing I'm going to do is hit this with a little bit of olive oil. Just want to get this over all the chicken pieces. Get a little bit of a coating on them. Going to help them accept this seasoning, especially that sage. And that was maybe two or three tablespoons of olive oil, not that much. You can use any kind of oil you like. I like olive oil. I like the flavor it adds to the chicken. Now I'm just going to start adding the seasoning. Sprinkling it over the chicken, rubbing it in both sides letting these roll all over each other. Doing this in a bowl helps keep some of the mess down, but it also allows the chicken and the oil and the spices to kind of all roll around together. Make sure you get any of these that are on the bottom and make sure you get the back side of the chicken too, not just the front where the skin is. Because remember, that skin's gonna be coming off. The seasoning will still get through especially when you rub and with this oil. And there's enough exposed breast meat that the seasoning's got a lot of good contact. Our chicken breasts are ready. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes while we go outside and get the smoker going. I'm gonna be smoking these chicken breasts today with some pecan wood. I'm gonna fill the wood chip box for the Charbroil electric smoker up to a about three quarters. Just about like that. All right, let's get these into the smoker. So I have all four racks in the Charbroil Electric today. I'm only gonna be using these three for chicken, two breasts on each. This upper one is only gonna hold my temperature probe for the Thermo Pro Wireless. I also have my food probe resting up here right now. That's gonna sterilize in the heat a little further beyond just being cleaned. Let's get it closed and fire it up. All right, let's start this up. I'm gonna set my temperature to 225. I'm gonna set my time to six hours. It will not take six hours, but I always like to set the electric longer than it's gonna take. So we are heating up now. The Thermopro's hooked up, the receiver's receiving. We should be ready to get that chicken in here in about 20, 25 minutes. Can you see my sunflower over here, right up there? The heat wave we had about a week or so ago really did a number on it. I don't know if it's coming back. Anyway, today, this chicken's probably gonna take somewhere between two and three hours in the smoker at 225 but really it's just based upon internal temperature. When it's 165, it's coming out, then it's gonna go inside, 
into the refrigerator to chill down before we tear it apart and make our smoked chicken salad. Okay, our smoker's at temp. It's a little bit above. I'm okay today if it's between 225 and 250. I do want to try and keep it at that lower range, but once we get these in there, that temperature is going to moderate. So let's go ahead and get these chicken breasts in. I'm going to put two on each rack. Meat side up. Got a little skin straggler there. It doesn't matter. I want to get my temperature probe into the meat on the top. That will give me an idea of how all the other pieces are doing. I find that the second rack from the top generally gives me about the most accurate temperature from everything. You know, I will check it when this one's getting close. When this is about 150, I'll start probing with the instant read thermometer on the other pieces just to see where they are. But we're starting to get hints of that pecan smoke now. Let's close this up so this can start smoking. You can see that our internal meat temperature is 42, which is just perfect. Just came out of the refrigerator. Pit temperature is 147, climbing back up. I'll bring you back probably in about an hour, hour and a half, and we're going to do some probing with the instant read thermometer. Really good smoke coming out of there, that great pecan scent. Just love pecan, especially on chicken. This is going to be some good chicken salad with this smoked chicken in there. All right, we're an hour and a half in. The internal meat temperature is in the upper 130s, I think 137. Uh, smoker temperature about 247. So let's give these a check with the instant read and also just take a quick look at them. Oh, those look good. Let's see how we're doing here. So the internal probe on the Thermopro is reading 138. This one's reading 135, so we're really close across the board. Close it up, keep it cooking. But man, does this smell good. Okay, the Thermapro is showing a internal meat temperature of 165. Let's check some of these breasts with the instant read thermometer and verify that. Ah, nice color, nice sizzle. Pull out one of these here. Really pretty color on these. We're looking good. I'm going to get these out of the smoker inside so they can cool down and get them into the refrigerator to chill before we cut them up for our smoked chicken salad. There is one of our smoked chicken breasts. Wanted to give a look at it before we start breaking it down. I'm going to break this one down to show you how I do it for this smoked chicken salad. And then I'll bring you back when we're assembling everything in the bowl. So let's get to breaking this down. First thing I'm going to do is just peel the skin off. It's done its job. It's kept our chicken nice and moist. And you can just see all the juice here as I peel this away. If you have a little skin left, don't worry. That's not going to be a problem. Now the easiest way to do this, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, is just to rip the breast meat off the bone. You'll get some that gets stuck there, but you can pull that off later. Look at how juicy this is. Look at all that juice in there from this smoking session. Pull off any last little bits of skin, and we're going to start breaking this down. Now what I like to do is cut this into strips first. Then turn it and start working it into smaller pieces. You can make them as large or as small as you want. Sometimes I like chunky. If it's too big, you can break it down a little more. As you can see, just how tender these are and just how juicy. Oh, some of these big pieces break down a little further. Let's bring in these side pieces. Remember, you can do this any way you want. If you like it shredded, you can shred this. A little skin straggler there, get rid of him. There's a pile of the chicken breast meat all broken down, chopped up, ready to be made into our smoked chicken salad. I'm going to finish breaking down the rest of the breasts and then we're going to get these in a bowl and assemble it. So now we're going to start assembling our chicken salad. We're going to do that first by dumping in all of our chicken. 
I'm going to start adding mayonnaise now, but I'm going to do it a bit at a time. I don't want to overfill this with mayonnaise. Just going to start mixing it. And the amount of mayo you use is a very personal thing. <laughs> I'm not a big mayo fan on a lot of things. I love it in things like this. But if you like a lot of mayo, you can add more. If you don't like much, don't add much. That looks like the right amount to me. Now we're going to start adding the rest of our ingredients. And this is all to taste. You're adding as much as you want. I'm adding about three or four tablespoons of parsley here. I'm adding about a cup of chopped celery, about a half a cup of chopped scallions. I'm going to add about a cup of toasted walnuts. Let's mix this up. And we may have to adjust the amount of mayonnaise after we add these ingredients, but we'll see. So now for some seasoning, I'm going to be adding pepper. I'm going to be adding a lot of pepper. I love pepper on chicken salad. Again, you can do this to taste as much as you want. Let's mix this up. I'm now also going to add this lemon pepper blend, if you can see that. It's got some more pepper in it. It's also got a little bit of salt, some lemon, some onion. And I'm just going to mix this up. Give this a quick taste. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Not too much. Just needs a little bit. A little bit of a shake. Give it a good mix. There we go. We are ready to toast some bread and build our smoked chicken salad sandwich. All right, we are ready to build our smoked chicken salad sandwich here. I've got some toasted bread. I'm going to start building this. Now, the amount of chicken I used was from four breasts. We smoked six, but two were being used for other things. And it ended up being almost exactly three hours in the smoker. Also remember that you can add whatever you want to this. I know a lot of people will add sweet things to this, raisins or craisins or other things. You can do that. The component that is slightly different here is the smoked chicken. So there we have our smoked chicken sandwich. And I'm going to add a little bit more pepper to this because I love pepper. All right, let's top this. Let's slice this. Looks good. All right, time to taste. All right, I'm ready to give this smoked chicken salad sandwich a test drive before the concert in the park tonight. So here goes. How does that look? So once again, remember, you can add anything you want to this chicken salad. This is just the way I like to make it. Minimal ingredients so I can really taste that smoked chicken. So let's see. <laughs> you absolutely 100% taste the smoke in this. Mm. Now, a really good pairing with the smoke in here are those walnuts. For some reason, nuts and smoke go well together, especially in this sandwich. Mm. Now, if you are someone who likes to add sweet things, raisins, other things like that, those will go fine in here. I just really like the savoriness of this. Mm. This is a perfect summer picnic sandwich. And that's why it's going to be so nice tonight at the concert in the park. Mm. I know someone out there is going to say, hey, you should have put ribs in it. That's not a bad idea. Now, from those four chicken breasts, probably can get eight, ten sandwiches out of those. It's quite a bit of meat. So if you're planning on making this for fewer people, you don't use as many chicken breasts. Just reduce the recipe for the rub, the amount of chicken, but boy, don't reduce the smoke. That is the key flavor in this. Mm. I think the pecan goes really, really well with this. You could also use cherry, apple. If you want to go stronger, use something like hickory, but there's something about the pecan wood with chicken. And I said that as I was using the smoker earlier. They just go really well together, and this sandwich proves that. Mm. Now, if you want to get really meta, I think that's something people say. 
You could use pecans instead of walnuts with the pecan wood. Mind blown. If you're ever looking for a way to sort of change up your chicken salad, or if you've never made chicken salad, give this a shot. Smoke that chicken. Get that smoke flavor into that meat mixture. It will up your game on the sandwiches. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great evening. I'll see you again soon.